Hello there Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a Wait A Minute production. Today is the 22nd of January 2014. It's a Wednesday and it's 8.40pm. Yep, today it didn't rain in, uh, in Malaysia, PJ, whatever. So uh, let's see here. This is a traditional type of food in Malaysia. It's called uh, nasi lemak. Nasi is rice, lemak is fat. So this is fat rice uh, if, you, if you translate it directly, okay? So today I'm supposed to like uh, now this time at night I'm I was I was planning on going out to do a film or a video on the guys at ICW Infinite Creation Workshop uh, in uh, Kalana Jaya yeah Kalana Jaya PJ but I have uh, tons and tons of stuff I've been doing with my computer of late so I didn't have a chance so this is a, a food hunt and also a, a social commentary on on Gundams. Uh, ICW is uh, Infinite Creation Workshop. They deal in Gundams. They they model the Gundam toys or models and they make it more awesome. They spray paint it, they scrape it, they model it, they add in stuff, they they weld it. No, I don't think so. Uh, use super glue, put it all together, make something awesome, very awesome. So this is the, the nasi lemak. It comes with a, an uh, obligatory egg. The half an egg definitely. This one here is two ringgit. Two ringgit for this. This for one lump uh, piece of meal. Okay. So it comes with an egg and comes with the rice. The rice is uh, made with coconut. Hopefully, it's made of uh, made with coconut milk. That's why I call it the fat rice. Okay, nasi lemak because it's uh, using the coconut oil or coconut milk to 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 cook the rice with. So uh, it's quite a small meal and uh, you with nasi lemak you have the anchovies which is hopefully fried and besides that they also have the sambal which is the sauce it's made from krill, it's made from belacan, it's made from chilies, it's made from onions, garlic, whatever just stuff it in and it will taste awesomely good enough to make you come in all types of various ways and also there's also the, the, the peanuts here also fried very delicious very delicious. So let's go and taste this one here. I don't know where it's from, but it's just tap out. You can just tap out the damn thing. Mm. Full of taste and nice. Nice, nice, very nice. Mm. Mm. And also, there's a banana leaf um, on top and below. The rice is nice. Some people uh, they like to like put all the the sauce at uh, the blatan, the red one, the red sauce everywhere. But I don't like to do so because rice would taste excellent with just a bit of sauce, curry sauce, chicken sauce, whatever at the side. Do not smother your 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 all your rice, which is the staple food in Malaysia, with all with all of the sauce because rice tastes nice with a bit of sauce not a lot of sauce okay that's my one of one of my my mottos in life or in uh, when it comes to eating do not do not put too much sauce into it so this one is a good good uh, balance between the sauces and also the rice the rice by itself tastes good because it's made from the coconut milk and therefore you should not like overwhelm your rice with the sambal or the curry because that would actually defeat the purpose of making the rice uh, that is special to I mean special in this uh, nasi lemak you have to taste the coconut uh, flavor in the rice itself mm, very nice. sambal is nice as well sweet and uh, slightly slightly uh, uh, spicy <coughs> And uh, just to change things up, they put an egg in it. It's something like a neutral type of uh, part of the food. It's not spicy, it's not anything, it's just an egg. Stop. Uh, speaking of neutrality, they should actually put a cucumber in it, but there's no cucumber here, so quite sad <coughs> that they don't have a cucumber. Mm. Egg, egg tastes nice. So if you are ever in Malaysia, you should try the nasi lemak. 
it can be sold, it can be found anywhere. You can buy the expensive ones in the high luxurious uh, restaurants, or you can just eat it like this from the road roadside roadside stall. So today I was very busy because there were a few comments on my video why Reiner Brown is the armor titan. It's based on the my views uh, concerning the the excellent fucking excellent anime of 2013 called Attack on Titan or in Japanese Shingeki no Kyojin or Advancing Giants. So I did the uh, I did this this uh, summary here I've written it down manga versus anime put all the stuff there this morning okay around 10 a.m. 11 a.m. I just woke up and saw the comments and I was thinking I might as well do a response uh, because they asked me to do a reaction towards the manga I haven't read the manga or until now I only did the reactions for the anime itself so they were asking me or encouraging me to actually do the reactions to the manga so I've written it all down here about well, quite a lot of pages uh, about uh, my views and stuff and why manga reaction and also video or anime reaction is different manga reaction and anime reaction is two different things two very different things so uh, do check it out this is a three-parter it's a very long-winded discussion I discuss with the laptop not with anybody else it's only me talking to the laptop so I'm maybe I'm certif I should be certified crazy so quite a lot of uh, notes here. This small half page here, I cannot show you the other one because there's uh, some emails of some beautiful girls like Shrine, uh, Sh Shermine, and also the Miss uh, Miss Selango of 2013 here. So another page here, another page here, another page here, and that's about it. So that's my summary of for, for today. I did that one, a three parter. Then besides that, I also did a. Uh, uh, excuse me. I did another video on uh, on Victoria Ike Yen, which is uh, who is the Miss Selangor Tourism 2013 that I've uh, interviewed. I did a video because uh, I found similarities between her face and also a very beautiful Japanese actress by the name of Misaki Ito. So check out the video. It's going to be up in a couple of hours. I did that video, so four videos already. What else did I do? Let me do. Let me see. And also, I did a six degrees uh, of separation video based off the excellent, uh, excellent OST or original soundtrack called Yellow Line. Yellow Line. So this is the fifth one. For this Yellow Line, six degree of separation or Kevin Bacon. Uh, six, six degrees of uh, separation from Kevin Bacon or six degrees separation of Kevin Bacon I'm not sure this one here it branched out into J dramas into all types of uh, J songs and whatnot it's a 40 minute uh, screen capture video so check it out I think 5 is the only how many I did today no idea actually let's see let's see let's see 1 2 3 4 uh, 5 oh yeah Today, five of them, and I also want to do a sixth one because there is uh, some music that I want to introduce to the people uh, in the YouTube sphere. Six. Actually, I want to do a seventh as well because no, actually, I did a seventh. Okay, okay, five. Okay, I done already. Actually, there's a six. There was also uh, I did of uh, Christine, who, who is the the female female Titan cosplayer. I did a a slideshow of her. Uh, pictures okay it's karaoke outside so close the windows so there are six already I did the slideshow with music based off my own voice so you can't copyright that shit right actually I am really afraid of YouTube copywriting it YouTube is just fucked Mm, very nice. So I'm planning to do a seventh one involving some uh, girl by the name of I don't know what's her name already. She was formerly of of uh, the group band, the girl band group, the girl 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 group. Okay, 
music group. Her name is Takako Uehara. Takako Uehara, who, is, who has a very good music called Come Close to Me. That one I want to do also. She was formerly of speed. For, so from there I can do another six degrees of separation into speed and what they have been doing. All the excellent music videos or songs. So I also wanted to do another video today. I want to do why you should not use YouTube's uh, featured tracks. Because if you use the featured tracks, you won't get to monetize the video that uses the featured tracks. It's kind of like stupid, right? It's not, it's very stupid of YouTube to do so. You put in the music from YouTube itself and it will stop you from monetizing your video. I wanted to, I wanted to do a video on that. Using YouTube's own own music, uh, you would think that, okay, I can actually use their, their original music or the music that they have licensed to and therefore I can actually use or monetize the video that features their own tracks. No, it does not happen. The button, the the monetization button, disappears after you have done the the conversion. Uh, I mean, after you add add in the featured soundtrack. Very weird. Very stupid. Very very insane. Of course, uh, YouTube is insane. Uh, you can see all the ID content system that they are imposing on everybody else. Really stupid. So a lot of videos, that's why I haven't gone to ICW. I wanted to, but I, I can't. Too busy. Too excited to do all these bullshit videos. That lacks editing, uh, production values and whatnot, and quality as well. Mm. Excellent. No more karaoke, I better open the window, it's getting a bit stuffy. Okay, it's, uh, singing is a bit uh, less now, you can uh, endure it. So besides that, uh, I've been like a, a busy busy boy, I'm trying to like say, respond to the comments on, on my videos and unfortunately I can't actually reply back to them from my own fucking channel. It's very weird. I don't know what the fuck is YouTube doing or Google is doing. I can't even reply to them using my own channel. There's something wrong there. In something wrong with Google or YouTube now. Can you can you imagine it? I own the channel and I can't reply to the people that uh, comments on it. I can't like that the reply button underneath their comments gone. So what I have to do is I have to go into their own channel, go into their discussion tab or go into their about tab and write something there. Hopefully they will see it. Or you can send a personal message. It's very cumbersome. It's bullshit. I'm not a popular yet. I don't have a popular yet. Popular channel yet. Just imagine if I have like say 100, 100 comments a day and I have to have to have to reply to all of them then YouTube has made it even more cumbersome. I can't reply directly. I have to go into their website or their channel and just reply to them. It's just kind of bullshit. And this one, this egg here is very, it's like a neutral, as I said earlier, a neutral portion of the meal. It's nice. I wish they put in cucumber, as I said earlier. As well. Mm. It's delicious. And some of the people have said that I talk too much. Well, what can I do? I can't shut up, right? Mm. Very nice indeed. Mm. And the whole egg into the hatch. Mm. Very nice. Love it. Two bucks, eh? Two ringgit. That means it's roughly about uh, less than one, one US dollars. Or less than 50 pence. British pence, that is. Mm. Very nice. Especially the addition of the egg. The egg is, is... It gives it a different flavor. A subtle flavor. An egg flavor to it. Very nice. I haven't done the, the videos on that uh, Winsun Cafe yet. Finish. I haven't finished it. 
I still have video number 5 or 6 or 7, I'm not sure. It depends on my mood, whether I want to do it or not. Sometimes I get sidetracked by, like, say, today's uh, videos on uh, Attack on the Titans. Suddenly I get a reply from these people and I have to, like, reply back with a video on why I should not do a manga reaction video to the manga that I read. They might find it find it interesting to hear my my views, but uh, sometimes uh, I'm not sure. I don't know what whether to do it or not. So there's another one actually. There's another one here because uh, one is not enough. Like money, is never enough. So there's a there's a banana leaf on top. Uh, normally when they prepare this uh, nasi lemak, it will be steaming hot. So the steam would actually soften the banana leaf which has been cut into a rectangular shape it will impart some of the aroma and also the aroma basically it's more of the aroma of the banana leaf into the rice and also other ingredients featured here egg sambal anchovies and fried peanuts okay it's singing again close the window I don't know how people live in Iraq or whatever place that... Uh, never mind. Forget that I say it's getting a bit too insensitive. Thank God I'm an insensitive type of guy. So I want to talk about... Uh, yep, this, uh, this is another booklet from Win Soon. Very nice cafe. I've been using this. I'm writing down the lyrics to some of the songs that I want to actually sing out to you. Okay, don't run away yet. I'm not singing it now, okay? There's that uh, Only the Lonely by Roy Orbison. I like the song. I want to sing it in front of the camera, definitely. Then uh, there's Beyond the Sea by Bobby Darren. There's Crazy by everybody else. Crazy. I'm... How to sing this already? <laughs> I'm crazy for feeling so low. I don't know. I forgot already how to sing it. So uh, I'm going to talk about Lee Tuck, okay? Where is Lee Tuck? Okie dokie, now I'm going to go into like say uh, The issue with Lee Tuck, Lee Tuck is actually the, the Actually I'll go into a second video, okay? 